With the Stormworks Build and Rescue Survival Update launching on Wednesday the 26th of September, many of you are probably wondering what you can expect from this, the largest Stormworks update yet. Previous updates have focused on enhancing current features and adding new content. The Survival Update brings all this and a whole host of never seen before features. Stay tuned as we break it down. We've introduced a whole host of optional features that raise the difficulty of the game. Firstly we'll look at player health. For the first time ever it's now possible to die in Stormworks so you'll have to take special care when you're on your missions. You can currently die from falling, suffocating, freezing, rotor blades, water pressure and even shark attack. It's not just players that can take damage, vehicles now have a multitude of ways of becoming damaged. This will result in a real impact on players' progress as components can now break and no longer function correctly, vehicles can leak, rotors can break off with impact and engines can overheat and be destroyed. The last aspect to the full breakdown is advanced engines. These will require fuel which will add an extra element for players to contend with. Players will need to ensure they are using pipes to create fluid links to fuel the engines, along with air intakes and exhaust. As the engines can overheat, players need to ensure that these are cooled correctly. There are far too many features to list in depth, so if you'd like to know any more about the following features, please see the full patch notes. Other things that have been added in this update are Sharks Tsunamis New Ragdoll Physics Player Death Screen Electric Power Logic Links Batteries Generators Electric Motors scuba diving and firefighter outfits that provide damage resistance and O2 tanks. You will also see the following list of game difficulty settings that can be toggled on or off or set to a value. These include first person only mode for vehicles and player character, advanced vehicle mechanics, vehicle damage, player damage, lightning damage, NPC damage, the ability to teleport vehicles, fast travel, rogue mode, starting currency, day night cycle length, Daylight Hours, Unlock All Components, Infinite Stock, Unlock All Islands, and Creative Menus. There have been many new components added in this update, including aircraft engine with full rigging, fuel tanks, exhaust, radiators, batteries, generators, and much, much more. You can see the full patch notes in the video description. Whether you're a Stormworks veteran or finding out about it for the first time, you should now have all the tools and knowledge to brave any storm.